Hi, my name is Jeff Horning and I'm the Executive Director of the Agribusiness Council of Oregon. A significant number of injuries occur every year on and around farm machinery and equipment, in particular tractors. Sadly, some of these even result in death. The Agribusiness Council of Oregon Safety Committee is dedicated to engaging Oregon's agricultural workforce on issues particular to ag safety. And we are proud to be partnering with the Safe Corporation on this video that is gonna focus on tractor safety. Oregon OSHA requires every ag employer to review nine important safety elements with their tractor drivers annually. In addition, the employer must review the important safety issues peculiar to the work environment and equipment of their farm. This video addresses those nine required elements, plus a little extra in our efforts to keep Oregon's farmers and ranchers doing just that, farming and ranching. Let's turn the program over to an experienced farm safety trainer who will lead us through this material. This is Kirk Lloyd from Risk Management Resources. Our hope is that no one ends up at the doctor, emergency room, or worse. Of course, we can't cover every safety issue that a tractor operator needs to know in this video, but the OSHA items are a great place to start. Let's take a step-by-step -step look at these ways to keep tractor operators safe and productive. Securely fasten your seat belt if the tractor has a rollover protection system. Most modern tractors have a rollover protection system like this one. For the system to be fully effective, the operator needs to wear a seat belt to stay in the zone of safety under the bar. For low clearance situations, folding down the roll bar is allowed. However, the operator should not be wearing a seat belt without that protective structure in place. If the tractor were to tip, he'd be trapped in the seat. Since this tractor is done in the orchard for a while, we'll go ahead and put the roll bar up. Where possible, avoid operating a tractor near ditches, embankments, and holes. Sometimes it will be necessary to work along an edge. Just don't work closer to the edge than necessary because the risk does increase. The typical guideline when driving a tractor near an edge is to remain one foot away for every foot of the drop. However, the driver must consider soil conditions and the weight of the machine to determine how far to stay back from the edge in actual practice. Reduce speed when turning, crossing slopes, and on rough, slick, or muddy surfaces. Many tractor accidents can be traced back to driving too fast for the conditions. If the operator tries to turn too quickly, the tractor may roll over, or the front wheels may lose traction and the machine may not come around to the direction he wants it to go. This is a perfect example of a location where the operator needs to slow down for safety. Stay off slopes too steep for safe operation. Matching equipment to the conditions is an important part of safety. Which of these tractors is the better choice for hillside operations? A tractor with a narrow wheel setting and relatively high center of gravity is more likely to tip. A tractor with a wide wheel setting and lower center of gravity is a better choice for hills. Soil and traction conditions also have to be considered. Another situation on hills is losing traction on a steep downhill grade. 
The operator's first instinct may be to step on the brakes. However, this may result in complete loss of control and is usually not a good thing to do. There will be some times when some hills just can't be farmed safely until conditions improve. Watch where you are going, especially at row ends, on roads, and around trees. A significant number of tractor accident victims are pedestrians and not operators. Whether it's a scenario like this in the field, blind spots around buildings, or any other operating environment, it is extremely important to pay attention to the surroundings at all times. An event like this can change a life or it may end it. And the problem is compounded by the emotional toll on the person driving the tractor. A moment of distraction can lead to a lifetime of regret. Do not permit others to ride unless there is a safe seat. Riding on tractors is one of those classic risk-taking behaviors with only a small chance of a bad outcome, but a really serious consequence if something does go wrong. Where will that rider end up if he should slip off the step? Tractor operators have to take responsibility for saying no to riders. A majority of ag operations in Oregon are family farms. Passing the farm from one generation to the next is important, and children often want to be involved from an early age. It can be difficult to say no, but it's been proven time and time again that children riding on equipment are at risk for injury and death. Losing a child to a preventable injury is one of the most awful things that can happen to any family. Don't let it happen to yours. Operate the tractor smoothly. No jerky turns, starts, or stops. Some tractors have enough torque to flip themselves over backward if started abruptly by dropping the clutch. This happens so quickly that most operators don't have time to react before reaching the point of no return. That's why smooth startups are so important. Being rough on a tractor also increases the need for maintenance. If a tractor is broken down at a critical time and work is getting behind schedule, that will increase the temptation to take shortcuts and increase risk. Being gentle with the equipment improves safety on many levels. Hitch only to the drawbar and hitch points recommended by the tractor manufacturer. This operator was about to try something that could have easily flipped this tractor. Every tractor has one or more hitch points recommended by the manufacturer. Attempting to utilize any other hitch point is a disaster waiting to happen. To understand the principles involved, we need to identify the center of the rear axle. Any hitch point above the center of the rear axle will tend to raise the front of the tractor when power is applied. When something like this log is hitched too high, the tractor may seem to pull it okay for a while, but if the log digs in or catches on something, the tractor may suddenly backflip while on the move. A low hitch point reduces risk. When the tractor is stopped, set brakes securely and use park lock if available. There are many different types of parking brakes and lock devices used on tractors. Be sure each operator knows how to secure each tractor that they'll be on. Whenever possible, avoid parking the tractor in a place that it could run away. We're going to show you why. Even the best operator may make a mistake or a mechanical failure could happen. When operators realize they are off the tractor and it is leaving without them, they feel the urge to chase the tractor and attempt to save it. In a situation like this, just let the tractor go. It is virtually impossible to jump onto a moving tractor. If the operator misses the step, the results are often fatal. The tractor is most likely insured, and even if it's not, it's not worth dying for. Always be aware of your surroundings, in particular when you are operating the tractor around other motorists. 
Highway safety is a big challenge. Out on the public roads, we can encounter everything from simple ignorance to active road rage. The best advice I can give you is to expect the unexpected and drive defensively. Be sure your tractor is equipped for the road with slow moving vehicle triangle, lighting, and other appropriate equipment. Avoid sun up and sun down transport and use escort vehicles when appropriate. Just watching this video does not meet the OSHA training requirement for employees. Continue with the discussion of how this program applies to your situation and the hazards and practices that are unique to your farm. Be sure to keep records of who was trained and when. Record keeping is very important for regulatory compliance. The Agribusiness Council of Oregon has had a lot of support in producing this video. I'd like to personally thank the Safe Corporation for their funding support, for Gingrich Farms for allowing us to film on their property, OVS who supplied some of the tractors today, and Risk Management Resources and EAG Language Services for their technical support in the content that we provided you. Oregon agriculture has a rich tradition of providing resources for the world. Thank you for everything that you do, and please, be safe.